name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you with my interview video. Um, my story of how I got the job that I have today. So let's get started. Okay, so as you may or may not know, I started a, my very first job as a web developer a couple weeks ago. And I just wanted to come on here and tell you kind of how I went through the interview process for that. So the very first thing I did was apply for the job, very important. I applied on Glassdoor and um, you know, Glassdoor lists the job and then they have links to the jobs, which then take you to probably the company's website where you would then apply to that job. So um, it's Glassdoor's a job board for those of you who don't know. I really, um, recommend that you check it out they're good for also reviews salary things uh benefits all all types of things um they even have reviews for interviews so i would go ahead and, and check out companies before you you know step in the interview room so you kind of know what to expect in the interview um anyways so i applied for the job directly on the company's website through glassdoor and um a couple days later they reached out this was the actual hiring manager which is now my supervisor so it wasn't a recruiter or anything um, he basically reached out and was like hey we saw your resume and we want to invite you in for an interview so I scheduled an interview for a Monday I went in and um, it was basic interview questions right so I met with um, the hiring manager and also um, the senior developer so I met with them and they were basically asking me stuff about my work experience in regards to my resume and just asking about my experience like do I am I familiar with this am I familiar with that and then if I was kind of what in in what aspect was I familiar with it um, I had a project that um, the senior developer actually went and um, printed out my code for it and um, he was saying he, he he had had a chance to look over it briefly and was just asking me questions about my thinking of how I created that project and how I went about creating it so um, some technical things just like well not really technical but just my thought process behind the technical stuff that I did uh, so after that uh, the interview was about an hour long after I had that interview I wrote a uh, thank you email to the hiring manager since I had his email from when he told me about the interview. So I sent him a thank you um, for sitting down with me. And then a couple days later, no, not a couple days later. It was like the, the next day, the next afternoon, it was closer towards four o'clock or so. And I got an email from the developer and he said, hey, you know, um, we'd like to meet with you again to do algorithms and I said oh snap and he's like this time it would just be us doing algorithms and I was like oh crap I scheduled the interview for the next day the next morning and um, it, this time it was him and the database developer we were in there together doing the algorithms and um, he wanted to do them on the whiteboard but he couldn't book the room or whatever so we ended up he set up his laptop so um, he had a text editor open and I basically was able to go in there and choose the algorithms that I wanted. He had chosen a few, well, several, from a code, uh, a website called Code Wars, I believe it was. Um, I had heard of Code Wars before and I think that, I think I'm saying it correctly, but I've heard of the website before, um, but I hadn't been on there recently to do any algorithms with them. So I was kind of like, ooh, I should have went to that website and did more. but it's all good uh, but anyways I did three algorithms and if you hold on just one second I will um, here we go so I got a list because <laughs> I know somebody's gonna ask me well, what were the algorithms I don't know the exact name of them because I don't remember but I did take a picture of them in my phone not physically then but after the interview I went and wrote down what the algorithms were so I could remember so the first one was kind of like um, kind of like a game of like so you have a key value pair 
and the key is the actual um you know a, a letter a through z and then the value is how much that letter is worth and um the user inputs a string and then you have to loop through that string and figure out what each letter is worth and then you have to return the total count so that one that was one of them uh, the second one was displaying each number as um, I think I forget what it's called cardinal value something like that but um, it, like first second third so the ST the RD the ND that sort of thing um, so again the user passes in a number and you have to add the ND, the RD, the ST to it, depending on what number it is. So he had the conditions like, um, you know, numbers that are like this, follow this naming convention, numbers that are like that, follow this naming convention. So um, it definitely helped out. And the third algorithm was an encode uh, function that I had to write. And it's basically, um, you're giving a the user passes in a string so some kind of word and your job is to encode that so it's similar to the key value pair that i've spoke about before uh, but instead of numbers it basically um, is this letter gets turned into another letter so if you were to pass in um, football if you were to pass in the word football and then in your encode you have um, you have it to where it says if it's a if it's an O or B then change it to a L and an M respectively so it would no longer say football it would be like a secret word that would get changed into different letters. So that's those were the algorithms that I did. After the algorithms, again, it was another hour. So I spent an hour doing algorithms. And then um, it was the next week when I heard back and they kind of, uh, they said, hey, we'd love to have you on the team. So um, all together, it was, it was a very quick process from in, like from when I applied, because I applied for the job on the weekend. So. When I applied, it was like maybe total two weeks, maybe going through the whole process. So, oh yeah. So, if you were wondering, that is that was my job interview process to get the job that I have now. Your interview process may be totally different than mine, but I figured I'd go on and share. Um, so, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, and bye. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>